the ground right now it's Codrum Valley Lodge I haven't been here in like 10 years but I just want to show you guys what's happening here all right so if you're new around here make sure you hit the subscribe button let's get it I had nothing to do today so I decided to come through perfect the area looks fine as you guys can see it's great all right boys so today I will basically just give you a short tour of Dream Valley. Uh, the place is located in Ibex area, Ibex Hill area, here in Lusaka, Zambia. I think it's one of the nicest areas around Lusaka, if you ask me. So, yep, yeah, um, this is where it's located. So I'm just going to give you guys a short tour and what kind of things you can find here, because this used to be kind of like a water park, but now it's a lodge. So, when you just start to drive through, the first thing you're going to see on your left side of the drive driveway is a soccer field. There's a big soccer field, as you guys can see, I think. Anybody could just come through and play soccer every time they want to play soccer. And apart from that, the place also has a bush kind of vibe. It has a bush kind of vibe, and in the bush, you find a whole lot of, uh, you know, chairs and stuff. All right, so this right here, is the entrance it's the entrance of the place as you guys can see it's about um 300 meters from the road and then you're going to find the entrance so what you simply do is you just come through and the reception is is right over there yeah that's where the reception is located so well, so i'm just simply going to get i'm just simply going to go there real quick and then find out how much the admission fees here and what else is found in the location all right boys so this is a reception this is a reception i had found out that um admission fee is 100 kwacha per head and uh this place basically is also used for you know like school tours for the kids and stuff like that i don't know if you guys have that in your country where kids go for you know tours and whatever so they come here for swimming basically because this place used to be kind of like a water park there are about five swimming pools to six swimming pools here in the location and just as i said so as you can see those buses the kids there there, there are some kids from i don't know what school who have come to just you know enjoy themselves as a school tour so apart from that they also have rooms on the other side because it's basically a lodge they have rooms on the other side starting from 600 kwacha per night to 800 kwacha per night so but i'm not going to be vlogging that for privacy purposes so i just go straight to the pools all right so we have a bunch of swimming pools as you guys can see they're like um almost a touch not really a touch but in this area they're about four pools and then they have small huts i'm going to call these huts i know there's the they are supposed to be called chalets, but yeah, I think we can just call them huts <laughs> because they don't really look as good as they used to look. So I think they need some serious, serious improvement. So another cool part about the area is they have these cool rocks, you know, these really nice rocks. And I was a little bit disappointed because I was expecting a restaurant, but I found a tuck shop. <laughs> so that is a tuck shop the white um, the white building that's the talk shop i just go there quickly grab a beverage because they only sell drinks they also sell alcohol for the alcoholics on the channel this is where you find your water so that being said so apart from the many huts that they have um, they also have this really cool bridge as you guys can see i, I remember this bridge from like 10 years ago i didn't think i would find it but it looks smaller now so they have this bridge here where you can just cross over to the other side and whatever maybe take some cool nice pictures and stuff then you have swimming pools on the other side as you guys can see some small uh, water slides and so on and so forth so as you guys can see all those kids are here for this uh, school tour
little thing going on. I don't know what the hell this is. Yeah. I just feel like passing through. <laughs> So they have this bush arrangement. This is what I remember about Dream Valley. The bush arrangement. This bush arrangement. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, just as I said, the place has this bush arrangement. Uh, it looks like a forest, and in the forest you're going to have. Uh, sorry, in the forest you're going to find all these little chairs. Uh, you know, made of uh, of of cement and stuff yeah yeah so it has a, a whole bunch of hidden spots but just as i said earlier it has a bunch of huts as well these little huts as you can see they're like all over the place they are all over the place there are so many so this is the big up or rather adult pool located in a little bit of a secluded area this right here is is that place so, ladies and gentlemen, just as I said earlier, admission fee is like a hundred bucks per head, a hundred kwacha per head. But what you actually get is the whole package in only a hundred kwacha. You get literally the whole, whole, whole package. So, a hundred kwacha is about maybe, um, let's right, boy, say. So, <laughs> yes, I'm a Dream Valley. It has that bush kind of vibe, you know, but. Let's get it. Let's get it. I want to show you guys around. Let's see what this place is all about. Yeah, so the 100 kwacha is about uh, $4. $4, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure how much the dollar is uh, right now. But so you're going to find all these little huts everywhere. And the reason why they're there is because when you pay 100 kwacha, you have the place to yourself for example you just want a nice chilled spot to throw a party maybe you and your 15 friends for example each and every one of them could pay 100 bucks and y'all could just come through and have all the fun you can have because when you pay 100 bucks you can swim as much as you want you can use any one of the hats to maybe bry or do whatever the hell you want to do you can bring all your alcoholic beverages and just have a really really nice time so it's a sport for that too so yeah i think for me that's the only advantage of sin otherwise the place is cool the place is just okay it's just fine even though i think that they could improve on their chalets their huts and just try to make them you know much more modified or rather beautiful because as at now uh, some of them are not really in good condition but yeah, you, you can actually have a great time there. Just sit, chill, and, and buy your food, make your food, and just party as much as you want to party. I don't like parties personally, but for those that do, you can find that here. Y yeah, I mean, you guys can arrange that here. So apart from that, I also came across some zebras. These are one of my favorite animals. We have some zebras. Apart from the zebras, they also have antelopes. They also have antelopes area. <coughs> yeah, so with that being said, guys, that is some of the things you actually find at the Dream Valley Lodge. So yes, it's located in Ibex. You guys can just check your Google Maps and uh, yeah, you can find the area. It's a super nice port. Uh, sometimes it's, um, sometimes, oh, actually I also forgot to have this basketball court that I feel that could work on because I mean a basketball court is super cool. People could just come and hoop all day, but it's it's worn off it's literally worn off so they could actually work on that and just make it nice and and beautiful for people for forces for, for, for people to come through and play so with that being said guys i'll check you out now i'm heading out for lunch so i'm at the kablonga mall right now i just thought i should grab some food and then i can head home and with that being said guys that's the end of the vlog don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.